so you want to see what I'm decorating up today? Did you see these at Hobby Lobby? They're normally $19.99. Every, everything spring has been 40% off for a long time. I'm sure there's probably still some of these there. They always have tons of this kind of thing. But this is what we're decorating up. We're not going to be doing any kind of painting on here. We're not doing anything like that. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate it. Yeah, Cash knows he's handsome too. <laughs> so, But yeah, he, he, he just needs to come on and say hi. You're welcome, Grace. There's Grace's link. Go ahead and check that out. So um, this is what we're doing. I don't have much of a plan. Let me just tell you, I'll tell you a little bit of what I'm doing. Um, you saw me live in Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago and picking up bird kind of things. That's what we're sort of going with. I also have this little wreath here that I've had here. I don't even know where I got it. Um, True Living, so I don't know. Um, Dollar General, but you can get little grapevine wreaths at Dollar Tree, um, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, wherever. And I just thought we're going to set that off over here. So that's going to be sort of a take from it. But first we got to paint up our birdhouse. All right, so we're going to set this aside. Get stuck in my bag here. There's Heather's Facebook page. Heather, you know, check her out. Oh, I missed another one here. Let's see who else. Carrie, yep, Carrie's is out there. Um, I think Carrie just started doing lives not that long ago, and she's doing a great job. Mary out there. So, all right, so you've seen these Jenga blocks. I'm going to use two of them. I don't know if I'll need them. We've got the uh, house. You can get them. You can get houses. The ones I have here from, from Hobby Lobby are, are little. I wanted something a little bigger. So this is from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if I'm going to need this or not. We're going to paint these up just in case we do. All right. So we're just going to do this, make it look a little bit aged and make it look sort of cute. So the colors I'm using today are Anita's Antique White. Any kind of like, you know, cream, older, older kind of white um, will do. It doesn't have to be. Deco Art has, um, I think, a cream color or something like that. Um, and I don't know how I grabbed Anita's today because I have mostly deco art here. Um, but I love Anita's too. So this is earth brown. And then I also have the Americana. Then this is some of my favorite. And the celery green, we're going to add that in. And then we're going to add a little bit of that antiquing wax to make it look a little bit older. So I have enough in here. This is getting low. So y'all doing good? Um, we're going to do random act of kindness drawing at the end. I hope I have enough in here. I should. So, um, I was trying to think. I think we're going to do some of the brown on the bottom first, and then we're going to do the white over the top of it. I have my sanding block I'll just grab in a little tub here. So we're just going to go through. You don't have to be perfect on this because you want it looking a little bit old. Like I said, I am just doing this today only with a couple thoughts in my head. So I hope it all turns out okay. Hi, Cindy. Cindy put a link down there. I have a lot of crafters on here. So that's fun to see. Makes me a little nervous. <laughs> so we all inspire each other. So that's, that's all right. I just hope I do justice. Right? All right. And, you know, this project, the things that I'm using on here, you can use whatever you have. I went down through my stash downstairs um, and pulled out a bunch of, like, branch and greenery. Um, whatever is going to work. And like I said, this does not have to be precise at all. Um, or not, not the greatest coverage. You just want to get some of this brown on here, mostly covered to cover that background. Well, welcome, Carol. I'm glad you came on. So you're going to watch a project where I don't know how it's going to turn out. 
it's going to be what it is. I always say, it is what it is. All right, we're going to do that little stem too. So how many were on during my live at Hobby Lobby when I was buying some bird kind of decorations? That was a few weeks ago. Grace, I think you were on. You wanted me to pick you up some stuff. You wanted to come shopping with me. All right, I do need to do the bottom too. Um, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. It dries so fast. I'm just going to do it up quick. And then I'll put a little shot of heat on it. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I don't know. Some of my projects are, are quite challenging and not always turn out. I like how my garland turned out last week, even though, oh, man, that was a day, wasn't it? I hope today isn't one of those days. Everything I did for that garland seemed to take me longer because things weren't turning out. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Patricia, you drop your link too. Anybody else? Yep, Grace, you were going to shop with me that day. I had to figure out what you wanted. You live in, Val you live in Valdez, Wisconsin. The paper says Valdez Journal. Ah! <laughs> I don't live right in Valdez, but yes, I'm very near to Valdez. So I went to school at Valdez. All right, I just hit the bottom so that I can paint up this top. And you're going to get full of paint if you don't take your time, but I don't want you sitting here all day with me. It's a gorgeous day here. So, and I think it's going to be gorgeous in a lot of places. Yeah, I love how that garland turned out. Did you all see? Now, I posted a picture this morning, if you didn't. Um, it, you know, honestly, it was probably a month or two ago that I grabbed a garland that had these painted gnomes. Um... Uh, mushrooms and little flower like flowers like wood cutouts um, that I had grabbed at Hobby Lobby probably about a month ago okay so I got the house paint I'm just gonna paint up these bricks too in case I need them or these are Jenga blocks I don't know if I'll need them or not I'm gonna paint them just in case um, but that's gonna be my next garland makeover you know I love gnomes and I have a cute idea for doing that garland. So I might, I don't know if I'll do that next week or, but yeah, I just wanted to post that picture so that you um, know that that's going to be my next one if you want to get it. Now I can tell you um, that one there, I don't know that I'm going to be selling that one. I might. But if you watched my live last week and what I made it from was just a uh, basic um, wired um, garland, I have an extra one of them. I would sell it for cost plus shipping. So I don't remember what they were at. Um, I think they were like $9.99 at Walmart. If you don't have them at your Walmart, I'd be willing to sell it for that plus shipping and you know the 9.99 plus tax I had to pay so I do have an extra one of them um, you'd have to private message me your the first one that would private message me it, now it's not gonna be all made up like that it's just that basic one that you'd have to make your own um, so you definitely um, if, you, if you're interested I've got an extra one here I would sell for cost plus the shipping. So private message me your mailing address, first one, first get so. Um, and I would like, you know, through PayPal, you can pay me. If you don't have PayPal, I can send you an invoice through PayPal. I just need your email address and your mailing address, okay? And I can get you the cost. So the post picture looks so cute. Thank you. Ah, thank you for serving the love, Patricia. All right, so I've got that. I'm just going to hit up a little shot of heat on here. It's bare wood. It's just not going to take long to dry. And we're going to make it look a little bit aged so that we can put it on that aged bench. Hi, Lindy. 
Somebody gave me stars. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's funny that somebody saw that I live in Valders. <laughs> like I said, it's not in Valders that I live. Um, I'm near Valders. Valders is a tiny little community, and my community is even smaller, even smaller. But they're both nice places. Hello, Lisa. How are you? Yes, you did. Now, Lisa, I think you have a page too, don't you? I think you do. Drop your link if you do. I, I might be wrong. There's so many names that I, I get mixed up on. All right. So now I'm just going to take that same brush. And we're going to add some on. Hello, Sally. Now this is going to be, like I said, it's going to be a little bit longer project just because, you know, with this painting, I don't know completely what I'm doing on this bench, but um, we're just going to put it together. So, all right. So now I'm using this. The first was the um, Earth Brown Anita's, but any brown will do. Now I'm using a cream color. Any, um, it's actually was antique white. Any... Antique white would work, and you don't need to get it everywhere. You just just get some on there. Some of the brown shows through. That's good. We want it to look a little bit aged because the bench we're putting on it is a little aged. So it's sloppy. Hi Rhonda, hi Sheila. Yeah, we're just gonna look sloppy today on this. This is the easiest kind to do, right? See how it's looking aged already. I don't even know that I need antiquing wax on it. Get it all over so you don't have big brown patches in places. All right, and I am gonna shoot up the bottom a little bit. Okay, that I'm gonna hit with a little heat. Aw, thank you, Paula. I had so much fun with my grandkids this weekend. Um, we <laughs> We get tired, obviously. We're not used to that. So, and the little one was sleeping while we were doing that. Um, but yeah, we had so much fun. So it was, it was a long. I think that's the longest we had all four of them by ourselves. So <laughs> it was, it was fun. Aw, thank you, Tommy, for passing me on. Thanks, Kathy. What did you use for the carrots on your bunny board? Oh, that was um, pipe cleaner. So there is a video out there of me doing that. I did it during um, the Simple Treasures. Um, it was a 10K event. Um, it, was, it was pipe cleaner and jute was the top. And then I put a little raffia bow and a button on. Is that the is that the board you're talking about? Okay, I'm just finish up this side. And you know, I was gonna rough it up with a little bit of sandpaper, but I don't know that I'm gonna even have to do that. Okay, do that. And oh, oh man, I didn't do my. Jenga blocks. Thank you, Tom, Tammy. Oh, Glenda, thanks so much. So I will do the random act of kindness. So make sure you keep commenting. At the end, I will scroll and pick, pick a name and send out some happy mail. Maybe a couple names. And then the deal is you do a random act of kindness for someone. So yeah, that just looks really good. You know, don't you don't have to get total coverage on it. I 
have my door open and I can hear my neighbor doing a little bit of toxin out there. <laughs> I'm sure he's looking forward to this weather. I'm retired. Thanks, Bob. All right. Just get a little of that paint off of me. Dry it up and we'll add one more color and then we're done with the house and then we're gonna start putting it together and see what we come up with. That makes me nervous. Hello, Kathy. Anything with them yet. Oh, I miss, I'm, oh, I'm missing. Happy Mail will definitely make you happy. All right. The last Happy Mail, I mean, some of the people messaged me back with pictures. I sent out napkins to people, um, a little variety of napkins. So um, we'll see. I might do that again. And there you go, Lisa. There's your link. You hear birds, Heather? Yes. We actually moved our bird feeder from the front of our house, which um, I like it in the front, but we spend, like, during the winter and stuff, we look out our patio door in the back, and so we moved it back there. So, yeah, so we got the bird feeder back there, and that's why you're hearing them. All right, now I'm just going to use a little of this celery green, Americana celery green, and finish aging it up. a lot of that. I'm just going to use a dry brush, a sort of a scruffy brush. Yeah, Tim Holtz's things are so cute. Birdhouse is looking so cute. Thank you, Lisa. So, and I thought, you know, with that bench, I brought this out because somebody had asked me if I still had this. I still do. I found it. Um, yeah, putting that next to that bench, this would be adorable too. You know, just something like that. Um, there's so many things you could do with a bench like this. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe a little of this green off and just brush a little green through. Just to add that little bit more aged kind of look, maybe a little mossy look. A little on the bottom <laughs> that was a whole lot thank you Vicki so I did do that on live if you guys didn't catch it um, and I just actually played the replay not that long ago um, you know people were asking what you would do to seal it to be able to use it I I know you could probably use scotch guard or something like that inside and out you might want to do that under it before you start putting that on um, Honestly, I would put a plastic pot in it and then use it like that, put a plastic pot and then do that um, because I can't guarantee that's all going to stay on it, all right? especially when you're watering it or if it's sitting in the elements, I don't know that that'll be good out there. So I just show you some ideas and you know, you might have to figure it out. I think Scotchgard probably would be a good idea. Or a good acrylic sealer or a good, um, I don't know, polyurethane peels after a while. All right, I just got a little much green here. So I added a little more of that cream in there. And, you know, I'm just going to dab back in that brown. Okay. See, it's not look nice and aged. And I do think I'm still going to hit it up with... Um, with the antiquing wax. Oh, now I forgot my Jenga blocks again. <laughs> Have you always had a creative mind? Stephanie, I don't know that I, I, I guess I don't know. I don't consider myself a creative mind. <laughs> I mean, I guess I am. I don't have, I haven't ever thought of it that way. I have crafted almost all my life. Um, I just had always crafted almost all my life, but then I got away from it for quite a few years, like a lot of years, I, um, getting married and my kids growing up and, um, just finally got back into it like two years ago. So, and I, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy it so much and I thought, well, I'll share it. And if it goes, it goes, if it doesn't, it doesn't, but I hit 30,000 this weekend. So I guess some people like what I do. Um, 
other crafters out here, we inspire each other. We see what other people do and we turn it around and we think of think of something like that, but then we make it totally our own. We do it in a different way, you know, so we do inspire each other also. All right, so I think we're just gonna hit it a little bit with this and then we're gonna put antiquing wax and we're done with our house. It is good I can watch you entirely later. I keep getting phone calls also. <laughs> I know about those phone calls. And then we it again in different ways. Yeah, you you make it your own. Um, you might see you see things in stores and you think, well, I can do that. You know, it, you just you just have fun with it. So I'm done with the paint. We're just going to do a little bit of antiquing wax here. Get stuff out of the way. Did you see the Jenga blocks? I don't even have them here that I've been making. Not Jenga blocks, um, Scrabble blocks. Um, they're going to spell out names. So I posted a picture of them last night that I started. I love those. Those are magnolia stencils. They're so cute. Um, so I was working on that last night. All right, so I'm just going to take a wet um, baby wipe, a wet, it's a baby wipe, all right, and I'm just going to just rub some on, and it's just going to make it look older, and it's going to make it blend in with, wipe a little of that off, so I got a little dark for me, but yeah, it, it antiques it up. And I'm just dabbing right in the antiquing wax cover. Um, you get this antiquing wax if you haven't seen it before. A lot of us crafters use it. Um, I've been using it for, oh gosh, since I started a couple years ago with this, doing this. Um, it's Waverly Antiquing Wax, and you get it at Walmart, right by the chalk paste, or the chalk paste, that's what we use, <laughs> Magnolia, um, right by the chalk paint in the craft department. There. Thank you. And you could, um, you could sand it down some, but I don't think it needs it. Just add a little bit. Of this on these sticks in case I use them on these Jenga blocks so I want to make some little Scrabble blocks how much are the stencils the stencils are more I have to look for sure I th I'm not positive they're they're the $28.99 maybe um, but I mean you get all the letters there are some symbols in there I think they're like $28.99 if I'm not mistaken um, they're either that, yeah, I'm, I'd have to look, I'm sorry. The one thing I notice, and is when you cut them apart, you have to be careful because there is, um, it's very close together on one side of the stencils where you're cutting them out. So you have a very thin line to cut or you're cutting off that little square part that goes around the outside. So you have to be careful with that. But I was able to do it. You know, you do that and you just be careful doing your chalk paste on there. But I love it. I love how they're turning out. So, all right, so I'm just gonna get rid of this paper here. We're gonna set our bird's house aside. And we're gonna get up this now. All right, well, actually, um, we're gonna do something else. Yeah. Okay, so again, this is what we're decorating up today. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're 40% off. They probably have a lot yet. I got it probably a month ago, but um, I think they always have a lot of these kind of things. So this bench is just really, really cute. I love the rustic look. This house is gonna look really cute with it. So that was my inspiration on that. Okay, so we're also going to be using this wreath. This wreath, I think was probably like um, Dollar General or something. You can get wreaths at Hobby Lobby, at Dollar Tree. And like I said, I think this is Dollar General. Um, you can get Walmart. And we're just gonna do a little bit of decorating up with this and actually, I should have had my low temp glue gun, but 
Yeah, it's not bad for all the letters. And if you you can make so many gifts with them, they're they're reusable. You can use them. They say I thought now it used to be eight to ten, but now I think it's twelve to fifteen times. And as long as you take care of them, you can keep using them um, for you know a lot. They um, like I used several letters last night. You know, like multiple times. They're still just as sticky as ever. If not, there's a gripping kind of spray that you can put on your surface. Um, that doesn't affect just a light thing like a uh, light spray of it that you can use it even a lot longer than that so yeah they're really not bad okay so this was one of the little shrub things that I got at that when I was shopping Hobby Lobby with all of you look at that I mean I love it. there's so much to it it was $19.99 but you get them at 50% off every probably three weeks two or three weeks so um Oh, thank you, uh, whoever. Sherry, thank you again for posting that link. You always have my back. I appreciate you. Um, that's the link if you're interested in Scrabble Lettles. If you saw the, the blocks that I did last night, I mean, I can grab them after if you're interested. I can just grab them. I got a bunch of them there. They are so cute, and they're going to be names on a wall. Um, they're, they're just really, really cute. If you're interested, I can go grab them. Um, okay. So I'm just going to pick off. A bunch of these and we're gonna decorate up this it, it is so full <laughs> they just pull right off <laughs> yes beautiful clock you gotta get tough with them I'm just gonna pull a bum, bunch of them off but look at how full they are that's I love them so much so you're gonna get a lot of use out of this. We're not gonna need much. I'm not gonna completely pack it full. I want that bench. I will have to see if Joanne's have it. You know, and other places probably do have them. All right, Sherry, thank you. The Scrabble Tales are $38.99. That is the most expensive ones there are because there's so many letters to them and there's so much you do with them. So that is the most expensive that we have. Um, they go, our stencils range any, anywhere from $8.99 up to that. So thank you, Sherry, for, for posting that. But again, if you're making gifts for people, you can make gifts for so many people because people are going to see what you do and are going to love it. So um, this greenery is Hobby Lobby. Um, it was $19.99, and then you get it for the 50% off every two or three weeks. So um, it's just so full and pretty, and I just pulled some of it off. Now, you can definitely wire it on, and, you know, I almost feel like I should do that. I'm afraid I'm going to melt it. Um, i got my floral wire here. Yes, that's where you carry it. You carry the scrabble pieces. The, let me, okay, let me go. Let me just go grab that real quick. I'll show you what that scrabble is as long as we were talking about it. Okay, so this is what, what um, the stencils actually look like. They come on two big sheets and you cut them apart and they've got the frame. So this is where I was saying you have to be very careful cutting between because it's a very thin green strip in between there. And what's white is where your chalk paste goes. So you have to be careful, but you know, definitely doable. We cut a big piece of, um, it was, it said one inch, but I think it's three quarter inch. And then um, I don't remember the width of it, but we got like 50 some blocks out of this piece that we bought at Lowe's, I think. Um, Lowe's or Menards or something. I think it was like $19 for the big block. And we cut them into four by four squares. And all I did was use that Waverly wax, antique wax on them and the almond latte chalk paste. And aren't they, they're so cute and you do letters with them um, you can make just a word and put it together like this so you could do names you could do a mod podge kind of thing so love these stencils great gift great gifts so um that's that's what the scrabbles are okay all right let's get back to finishing this all right, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna use wire to wire this on just because I think this is a little bit more delicate. I think, and I don't have the low temp hot glue. 
I have the high temp in. So I'm a little nervous that it'll melt the green. So I'm just gonna cut some wires. Stick this in here a little bit. Yeah, Mary, I love them. Oh, Cindy, that would be an awesome idea. Yeah, go check out the link. Sherry put my link up there. I appreciate it. I can um, put a link. I did post letters last night with the link on um, that you can just hit that link and go to my page and order. Just log in as a customer. You know, and you can get a 35% discount if you join as a creator. You get 35% discount on everything. So... I'm just trying to get my wire through here just to hold it in place and you won't need a lot and I stuck this end in which will be fine that that worked good I'm just gonna do that in a few places and this is already wired so I'm just trying to stick it under that wire in the one spot and you can make it as full as you want or as little as you want What are you going to do? make with them? They are going to be names on a wall. They're a gift. So, and it's going to be just like Scrabble, you know, where you put your names together. That's what they're going to be. So, yeah, they're big in there with that. They're actually, so the blocks I cut are four by four, and you've got that little bit of space um, on the outside of those blocks. So I'd say, the out, I'd say it's probably three and a half from the stencil itself. The letters themselves are about two inches. Okay, I can't speak for Chalk Couture just because, or I can't speak, I can speak what I've heard. I have not used Chalk Couture. All I can tell you is Magnolia is there's a lot of creators that came from Chalk Couture and started with Magnolia and they all talk about the quality of the stencils and the quality of the chalk paste are just above you know and that's what that's all I've heard I don't know the other difference is I know for if you become a creator um, it's a 35% discount that you get on on your items you earn commission if you sell it's 25% commission um, there's no monthly quota to be a creator though. So you do pay $10.99 a month. That gets you your website, which you automatically get. You don't have a choice, but that's where you order your supplies from. And as long as you pay that $10.99 a month, you're a creator. You don't have to get monthly quotas. They don't kick you out because you don't sell. You know, a lot of people don't sell. A lot of people just want to do it for the discount. So if you want to become a creator too, you can do that off of my page. Just choose the join and become a creator. And you can message me if you have other questions. And I stopped. I didn't like it at all. Ashley, okay, so Ashley is another one. I mean, there's a lot of people that really um, just didn't care that much for the Chalk Tour. But I cannot speak for that. Honestly, um, all I can say is what other people say because I have not then I have not used them. I just hear of what a lot of people say. Okay, so I'm just putting this greenery all the way around here. You're welcome, Mary. Like I said, I, like I, said, I can't speak positively for myself because I've never done it. All I can say is what I know a lot of creators in here in Magnolia have said. So um, they're just not happy with a lot of the quality. So, and that quota, no quota. Ah, that's what, you know, honestly, that's why I started was because I did this to enhance my crafting. I lost my other side. I did it to enhance my crafting and I didn't want to have to have a quota that I had to order so much every month. I mean, now because they get, they get new items all the time. Right now there's a little bit of shortage, like when you have your chalk paste and your inks. But that's going to come, and that's because of shipping, is shipping, but that's going to come. Um, it's, um, they just have such cute things you want to order. <laughs> you seriously want to order. Okay, 
I think this is the last one that I'm going to need. Like I said, I still want to see some of that brown, a little of that brown in there. That's why they changed up their paste formulas. Yeah, I don't know. And you know, their, their chalk paste formulas, everything is not toxic. It's, it's all non-toxic. Um, it's chalk paste is not permanent until you spray it with a clear acrylic sealer. So I will spray those blocks to make sure that that doesn't scratch off or anything. But um, if it starts drying some, that chalk paste in, in, in the containers, you just add a little bit of distilled water, stir it back up, and it just revives it. You know, you don't, you don't lose that because it gets a little bit crusty. All right, you just stir it back up. All right, I'm just looking how these, I think I need one of these was this one. I have to come back and watch. All right, Patricia, you have a good day. Doing a live after, you're doing a live too. All right, I hope you go check her out. It's two sisters with a paintbrush. But stick on with me for a little while. <laughs> I have a friend that does the chalking and she makes beautiful things. Uh, you know, I and I love it. it. Like I said, for me, it enhances my crafting. It enhances what I do. Um, I love, now I'm, I'm hooked on doing it on t-shirts. I did a baby onesie last week. Um, I'm hooked on doing that. And that's with that permanent inks um, that they have. All right, so this is gonna go on this side. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wire that on already. I don't know why, but. <laughs> Hello. It's funny. I'm Lisa and I'm Magnolia Attic. <laughs> Lisa, I'm I'm Lisa and I'm a Magnolia Attic. I could say the same thing. I'm Michelle and I'm a Magnolia Attic. <laughs> I am. And I don't know if Jennifer's on here. Jennifer um, is my <laughs> my athlete. She's the one who got me hooked. Um, she's such an amazing coach on, on there. She's amazing for all of us, honestly. Um, we have such a good community. Um, you just learn so much from everybody. Everybody on there, that's the other thing, is I don't know what um, what the other company is like, but people, you don't feel like you're in competition with the other people. I mean, everybody's so helpful. You have a question, you just go out there and ask, and people are more than willing, and people are showing pictures, and are so willing to um, to help you it, it's just such an amazing community it is looking springy you know you could just leave this like this and put this on here would that just not be cute it would be right Ah, uh, thank you, Darlene, for passing that on all right so we got the greenery out of the way we might need a little more of that all right, so let's, my thought is, is getting this birdhouse up in here. And I do like these Jenga blocks. So I think I'm going to glue them together and just see if we can work with them. I'm a crafter, craft online watcher, addict, and enjoy watching. Aw, Mary, you, you are on, I do see you on others and stuff too. I mean, some of you we see on multiple pages, but... Again, we encourage you to go watch everybody. You know, it's, we're not competing. You know, of course we do sales. Of course we sell our products. Of course um, we do that. But, you know, it's still a matter of, you know, we don't have all the same customers. We, you know, it is. Okay. I just really, really like that on there. Right? All right, Paula, we'll catch you later. Okay, so this... There is a little lip here. I don't know if you can see that little lip. I'm going to glue that right on there, I think. Get my fingers on here. I just wanna see the placement. Yep, I'm gonna glue that right on there. Like I said, I'm making this up as I go. It's, just wanna make sure I grab the right glue sticks. lunch detail huh <laughs> that's funny Paula all right so I and I like that little where I put them together like that you could do it the plane but I, I glued it together like that I like that 
So I'm going to use that for the front. By all means, if you don't want that crack in the wood, you know, don't, don't put it on there. And I'm just gonna glue that right on the back. And, uh, you know, this stuff is on now. I'm gluing it, it's, it's, it's on. Aw, oh, Stephanie, thanks so much. And I'm gonna put this on here. Isn't that just cute? Um, yeah, that's cute. All right, we're gonna add a little glue on here. And I'm gonna put a little glue on the back of here just because I don't know what's gonna touch. And I'll put a little across the back because this is all sticking up. That's the part sticking up. The rest of it is not going to stay. And if you're in a hot climate, use E6000. Maybe use a little of the hot glue just to get that quick stick but put E6000 around in other places and then that's the long lasting kind of stick. So it's, it's fine to use both. You just don't put it on top of each other. Thanks, Sherry. You know, you could just leave this. This is just so dang cute, but we have more. All right, I picked up these nests that day. Same day, shopping. All right. And I think we've got, to, we've got to put a little nest. Let me just picture. I'm going to put a little nest to the side over here. I'm just trying to look. I'm trying to also make it so that it's friendly, that it's going to stay in place when I use it uh, or when I put it on. I think, um, yeah, I'm going to put it down here. So we're just gonna add some hot glue on the bottom here and on the back here. There you go, Rhonda. Yeah, those Django blocks were great. Those are from Dollar Tree. All right, and you certainly I think just to make sure this is going to stay in place, I'm going to use some more wire because it's coming up. We're going to just stick some wire in here and I'm going to stick it through on this side. that's gonna keep it in place. Where did you get the bird nest? The bird nest is from Hobby Lobby. I think you could probably get them at um, Walmart too, maybe Dollar Tree, uh, probably any craft store. Um, they are in the My Garden Friends, so like they have like little gnomes, they have birds, and that's where I got the birds from too that I'm gonna show you. So um, it's there's usually two, and there's different sizes. All right, so we've got, got that, that's cute. I am going to put a little bit of raffia, I think, in here before we put in the birds, just a little. Crunch it up a little. Thank you, Deborah, for passing on. Where did you get the chair? The chair is from Hobby Lobby. Um, they are $19.99 and they're in the spring department, so they're all 40% off. And they have been for a long time, but there's so many that they have, at least at our Hobby Lobby, that I think you're gonna be good if you go there now. Okay, so I'm just gonna have, just scrunch a little. You know, honestly, I don't even know that I need to glue it. Because what I'm gonna do, I have these eggs too that are so cute. Those might go on the bottom because they don't match the size of my birds. Um, let me show you my birds. These also were from Hobby Lobby shopping trip that I went on with y'all. And there were three of these birds. And these are just so pretty. Okay, so there are three of them. I don't know that I'll use all three. But then in that garden, they also have these nests. 
And they have the little size eggs that I like. Oh, but they're glued on. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull them off. We're gonna place them in there. And I can use this for something else. Oh, it's got a little feather on it even. Southern California, but the name came from New Jersey, is where they were all born. It is five kids. Oh, I missed the rest of it. All right, and I love that those little feathers are on there. They match my birds. Oh, thanks, Debbie. I'm, I'm just going with this one. I have not tried this one yet. So, okay, and I think we're going to be good with this. Now, these are styrofoam eggs. I like that little feather in that one nest. I'm going to pull that off too. And obviously these are going to have to be glued in. So we'll be doing that. Um, the other thought I had, if you don't, if you can't find little eggs, you can get these small little styrofoam bowl, balls. And my thought is, I really think that if you squish them, you could paint them up. You can squish them into an egg shape. So I wasn't sure that I could get the little eggs. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll just do this on a live and show you. Well, then you can squish those little round balls and make that an egg shape. So you certainly could use that and maybe add some dots to it. And there's some eggs for you. Okay, so I'm just going to glue these eggs in here now. Sure, my raffia stays in there. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one feather sticking out. It's okay that the raffia is messy. Thank you, Sherry. And can you all see this? And, okay, so I'm just put some glue. As many eggs as you want. This bird could be loaded with eggs. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Vicki. I would only do three eggs. Do you think so? The only thing is, I don't know if you see. <laughs> I need one to stick up so you see it. I don't think you're gonna see the fourth egg. That's the only reason why I'm doing this because I wanna make sure you see the eggs and that fourth egg down in there is sort of a filler. All right, it's, it's honestly only gonna be a filler. Okay, and then this bird is going to sit back here like that. See, yeah, you won't see the fourth one. And this also has wire, but I think I can glue, I'm gonna glue it on. Diane, for this, quite some reason I really miss my besties, aw. You know, when you move, you do miss people. No different than like if you leave your job, you, you miss some people there, you, you know, you, you do miss things when you move on. But hopefully you find some good where you go to cute right okay so we got that um all right let me just see what else i got over here i did think that i could add a a blast up here that would be really really cute i have that so we could add that um oh the other thing i've got some some moss we're gonna add down here Let's get that off. Hi, Kathy. All right, so we are going to, this moss is, I don't know if it was Dollar Tree or Walmart. I think it's actually Walmart. I love the texture of this one. Um, we're just going to put it in, just add it to a few places down in here, and we're going to add a little to the birdhouse, too. 
a little bit down here. You see what I'm doing? I feel bad. It's okay. I have to go again. All right, Kim, take care. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Oh, thanks, Stephanie. Let's add a little more in here. You don't need to cover all of it. <laughs> I feel it's so tall. I don't want to. Okay. Looking cute. I'll add a little bit more down here. It's hot. I see it's on a little bench. Yes. I got this bench. I should have got, I have another bench like this too. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was already all rustic up, you know, so we painted the birdhouse, made that look rustic. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of this coming out of the hole, I think. Thank you. I think it's turning out cute, right, for, for not having that much of a plan. A little of that coming out of the hole. It's cute. Okay, now let's, we're going to have one more bird out here though too. Because it needs a mate. Let's get this out of the way. So we're going to end up putting another bird I think over here. Oh, I know what we're going to do. I have these, and I don't know if you can still get them. They're from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they were Christmas. They were Christmas. If you don't know what to do with them, they come on a whole long roll like this. I got some that I took apart. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. All right. And I'm just going to, and so it's on a roll of like some kind of felt. I don't want that felt on there. I'm going to stack some of these on here and we're gonna make like a little log pile and we'll put the one bird on there. I love these. Hi Melinda. Oh Kelly, thank you so much. Okay, that one's sort of thin. Just gotta peel that felt off the back because they were all stuck together. We'll do three. Hi, Mary. Oh, thank you, Pat. These are really stuck, some of them. I just need to get tougher. I need to start working out. <laughs> that one's gone. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate it. All right. You know what? Let's do one random act of kindness right now, and we'll do one more at the end. Okay? Here we go. Diana, Diane Booth, B-O-O-T-H. I don't remember if there was an E at the end. Please private message me your mailing address, and I'll get you happy mail, and please do a random act of kindness for someone. And we'll do one more at the end, okay? I remember. Awesome. You are talented. Oh. Who said that about me? Susan, oh, thank you. I just had to see who had that huge compliment. Everybody is so kind on here in compliments. I appreciate it. You get your few trolls, but I gotta learn to not focus on them, right? All right, we're gonna we're gonna do a little one like this, and then we're gonna have him. Actually, I think we're gonna take this one off. And we're gonna have him sitting on there. Okay, how does that work? Thank you. Let's just glue some of these down now. 
So yeah, these sticks, um, these birch little half sticks, you could go cut your own if, if you have handy or get your handy dandy hubby to do it. Um, or like I said, these were from Hobby Lobby at Christmas time. If you don't know what to do with them, here we go. I gotta do on the sides because it is not gonna touch otherwise. That I think we're actually gonna put a little bit of a little bit more moss on here. Thank you, Deborah. Trying to put it in. We're just gonna put add a little bit of moss. Just to tie it together. And then let's add that bird on there. Is this gonna be in my store? Debbie, I haven't thought about it. You know, I feel so bad sometimes putting things in my store because I have to charge so much for them just because of the price of what I put into them. And then just to try and do a little for my time but I mean, this, there's a lot into it, so I do feel really bad. And so sometimes I, I shy away from putting it in my store because I feel so bad about what I have to actually charge. And I know shipping costs are, are ridiculous. I never charge extra for shipping. It's just what the shipping is, is what I charge. Okay, that's just really turning out cute. All right, so let me see, I think, all right, I know. You know, I thought I could add a little color to it. I'm not sure that I'm, I'm needing color, but we're gonna add a little, you get this also, you can get some of this white, this I think probably at Dollar Tree, but this is from Hobby Lobby. Um, this is like by the Grapevine Reese. We're gonna add just a little of this in, in places. Oh, thank you, Debbie. I appreciate it. Yeah, and the wreath was so simple, right? Okay, we really got this. Thank you. I said you could add a saying on it. Um, that blessed saying actually would be sort of cute. And then, okay, so you've got this sort of wired kind of moss. I also have used some from a branch that I got at Hobby Lobby too. So um, I think I like these spindles better that we're just gonna maybe wrap them around. Let's just take one and try it. Yeah, and I know if you can't find this, let me show you what else is at Hobby Lobby. I can't even get down to it. Do I have it up here? Oh, I actually don't even have it up here. I grabbed it. I don't have it up here. There's one that has some of this in, and um, so, and you can, like I said, get it at some other places. I'm just going to wrap this around a little. Place these in. I'll just add that little bit of greenery in there. Um. I think I'll bring this one up over so you see this down here. Thank you. All right. Uh-oh. You know what? My glue gun. <laughs> Some 
how I flipped it off. Okay. Yeah, can you hear the birds? <laughs> yeah. They are really loud out there, aren't they? Uh, thank you, Nancy, for passing on. Okay, so we got that. I think we need a little something here yet. Um, unless I just put... Okay, I have... I have these also, which are really cute little tendril things. Um, let's do something with these. So this is Hobby Lobby also. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get this cut though. This is... I'm going to pull it apart. Um, <laughs> let's see if you can get it. You need a bigger wire cutter for that one. There we go. I mean, these are really cute. If I just add a little bit of, and be, with that green color in there, I think that would just add a little something, a little, little pop in there. Maybe just in a, in a few places, we'll just add a little bit of that, just to add a little bit of color, but not too bright a color. Uh, Mary, thank you for following me. I appreciate it. You can put flowers in the right You know, and I, I can't. I actually have an, another idea. Um, I'm going to stick this one down in here. adds a little bit more interest. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put another little one down here. These are Pussy Willows, and these are Hobby Lobby. Um, I These I did get recently, because I saw them, I loved them. I just got one, I got them when they were 50% off, and they were $9.99 and then 50% off of them. So, um, We'll just add another one down here. I can need one more there. And I am not a floral designer, trust me, at all. As you can tell, there's people on here that are probably cringing of what I do. But I just do me. I do me. Um, I did have where you could add like little pops of color. Like if you do like a little yellow roses. Um, these are from Dollar Tree. I just think these are so sweet. Um, you could add, have a couple of these laying if you want. But, you know, I like this simple. I, you know, I like this simple. I like this sort of rustic. But I think I do need something else down here um you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make like a bowl i think and with what i've got i think it'll it actually will look sort of good oh and i also have some of these wood chips that you could do but i'm not sure i'll use them okay so we've got this and I also have some of this. So I think we're going to do a little bit of this. Um, possibly with jute. If we do that and we do that as a, like a bowl over here, I think that'll finish it off. Okay. So let's put together a bowl. Um, I, I love the color of these eggs though too, but I don't think... Putting them with these birds and that, that, that would really go. So we might have to put that on the side. Aw, Sherry. Thank you so much. All right, so let's just cut. We're going to do... 
I don't know, that's probably about eight inches, I would guess. And we'll see how I, I'm not sure what kind of bow I'm gonna make. Just see if I squinch it. I might have to do it the other way though. So night, oh, I know you couldn't see that, I'm sorry. Um, just sort of thinking to myself, I don't know that I want something too big. All right, let's just, we're gonna, we're gonna try it. We're gonna do two of these. And then these are also Hobby Lobby, get them on sale, 50% off every few weeks. Otherwise, it's, it's quite a bit. Yeah, I like the eggs that are here. I love those other, the color of those other eggs, but, and they would really go with this, but I don't know that they go with the birds. All right, so look at the, and this is wired. So we can squish it together if we want. So um, just trying to see, okay, we're gonna set that aside. Make some space here. And I'm gonna get a piece of jute over here that I can tie with. And we're going to take some raffia to um, tie it all together with, I think, some of that other, what's hanging out of the nest. Do you have some of that ribbon? I love it. All right, so I'm just going to take, my raffia is a mess here. I'm just going to take some out. And I'm gonna make it sort of a big, okay, so all I did was wrap it around my hand, okay? I wrap it around my hand and take it off. And when you start, you start with one end down and one end up and you get this cute little bow. So that's gonna be the middle of my bow. Just get another piece of this. Aw, Janice, I'm glad you caught me live too, hello. Grandkids home. Good afternoon. The grandkids are home. They went home yesterday afternoon. So it was, it was, I got them on Friday afternoon and they went home yesterday afternoon. So they're so good though. They really are good, but I'm not used to that. <laughs> you know, Mr. Crafty Servings isn't used to that, but I mean, it was fun. So, okay, so we got that and that. I like doing the raffia first before I put it on, tying it up because that it's easier to keep it together. So we're gonna add that on it. I lost my other string, so. Happy Monday, Judy. How much is the mesh green ribbon? The mesh green ribbon, and there's two kinds. There's this one too, and I'm not sure if we'll use it. Um, this kind is quite a bit. What is it? It's $13.99, so get it at 50% off. You know, every few weeks it goes 50% off. And you're not, it's not like you're going to, I'm not going to roll it up and use like multiple. I'm just going to probably do this as a background. So actually I'm going to cut it right now. And I'll use my wire cutter because it is wire. I'm just cutting it all the way across. And it's sort of like a foam that's on here. Or it feels sort of foamy. Okay, so that's going to be, isn't that cute? Honestly, I think I just need one of these. I cut two, but I think I just need one. We're gonna do Maybe we'll use two. I gave it on Amazon for a favorite. All right. You know, I don't want to cover that up in the back. Let me just see about doing that in the middle. 
Okay, and so all I'm doing is, I it's probably about eight inch piece. I'm gonna scrunch it. Another eight inch piece, I'm gonna scrunch that. Put that together. I think I'm gonna put this on top of here. And then I'm gonna put this on top of here. And I think you'll see all your layers in it. And then I'm just gonna tie that together. Hey, I don't have my buttons out. All right, I wrap it around a few times just to keep it together so it don't have to hold on to it as tight. Just tie it tight. I think the, the burlap adds a good background to it, but I love the green, adding that in, the texture. I mess up my raffia just peel it apart just to make it a little bit messier. Thank you, Mary. Thanks, Donna. Thank you, Janice. Right, and I think this is what, um, I'm just looking if there was anything else. Now you could add it up you could add it up in here. That'd be really cute. And that other side, maybe I would just add another. Should we put it in up here? That would be really cute. Or should we put it over on this side? I sort of like it on the side, too. Um, where should we put it? On the wreath or, or sort of? tucked in on the side here. All right, let me have some comments on here. Tell me where, where you like it, on the wreath or on the side? I think the side sort of adds, because this is so big already that that just adds a little something to the side that I felt I was missing. Yep, I think so too. All right, so I am sort of stuck on uh, my stuff here. Okay, um, I'm gonna add it on with a wire because some of my, I don't have my string long enough. If you had done your string, oh, I do have it long enough. Okay, let's just tuck this behind here. Just tie it in a knot. You know what? I'm going to tie it on. I am going to use um, wire because then I can twist it and adjust it to where I want it to be. So I'm just going to use some of the green floral wire again. Yeah, I think the side too. It just, that's where I felt I was lacking something yet. Okay, and I'm just sticking the wire in behind here. And giving it a twist that way I can shift the bow around and make it stay where I want it to stay okay and somebody's saying maybe higher okay I need to turn it a little towards me let's just see Maybe like there. What do you think, like there? I don't know if I, up here, I don't know that I like it up there. I think like here, top side of the chair. So how about here? Okay, we've got hearts coming on. Does that look good? The other option would be up here, but I think I need something at that bottom because there's so much, I, th I think I need something at the bottom. Okay, I think we'll do it, we'll do it here. And I'm gonna twist it a little after, so we'll I can twist it a little bit. I 
think. Now the other, like I said, I could add this blessed up here. But the blessed, I mean, I'd have to almost age that too. I don't know if I like it without the age, but that would be really cute if you would age that, you know, paint it up and, and put that in. But I think just like this, it wouldn't work. Too busy a top. Yeah, I think the top, I can't do the top. I think, I think if we do it like it is. So let me hold it back. How do you like that? You know, I could use... Let me just see if a third bird wouldn't work on here. On the bird house. What if I put my third bird up there? Right? In threes? that look cute I think well I think we're gonna add that third bird there yep all right just add a little glue I don't know I have to put a little glue here and a little on the back it turned out okay right I was nervous about this because I had everything here I loved it all but I wasn't sure how to put it together and I think it turned out pretty dang cute the stand let me show you it is just a wood bench that I got at Hobby Lobby and it was already all rustified a sort of barn look kind of look um, and everything here is probably Hobby Lobby. You could get some things some other places, but I think everything here is Hobby Lobby. All right, so that's what I got. Should we do another random act of kindness drawing? I did one earlier. We'll do another one on Hello.